All right, going to do a video here showing some of the updated camera equipment that we have purchased recently. Um, we have been limping along now for quite a few years with some pretty old equipment and uh, trying to make things stretch and, and whatever. Um, not just because of the money issue, but uh, also because I am very new technology resistant. Okay, so um, just to give you a little bit of a history here, I bought a bunch of older cameras way back in 2007 when I got started off line you know making dvds and things and um and i saw you know when i'm going to be doing videos um more professional type of video i'm going to need a better camera well there was a number of different cameras that were out back then different video type of formats and kind of the newer style um at least to me there's probably people in the tech world that knew about this before i did but was the uh, hard disk drive type this type right here and you can see right there and this is a JVC Avario, uh, a 60 gigabyte hard disk drive. And it's a three CCD camera, had three little lenses in it. And um, I bought, not this one, but another one identical to this. This is my second one. Bought this thing back in 2008, I believe it was. And I used this thing for up until 2013, so five years. And uh, I put it through a lot. Um, you know, it was out in the snow, it would just be snowing, and I'd make videos. Some of the preacher rapture moment videos uh, were shot with my old camera like this. Um, in heat, you know, there in Pennsylvania, I did all the recording with that original camera. And, um, you know, there'd be days it was over 100 degrees outside, and this thing's sitting there in the sunlight, you know, recording. Um, you know, I put, it, I put it through a lot. And... Towards the end of the time that we were in Pennsylvania, before we moved here to Maine, 2013 or so, in other words, I was starting to notice it was starting to get kind of blurry over here on this side of the screen and you know on this up and then around here. It was really starting to get kind of blurry, and it wasn't just a dirty lens. And I was noticing the collar was starting to separate as well. Blue and red were kind of starting to separate in the images and things, almost like a 3D type of a deal. And so I thought, oh boy, I have to get a new camera because this thing is dying. And uh, so I really didn't want to look about some kind of a different camera. So I went out and I bought a used one. Originally, I had paid $1,200 for the original one of these. Then I found this one here. This one, I think, was about $500 or so dollars that I paid for this thing. And this is called a prosumer level camera. It's not just a family vacation kind of a thing, you know, just go get a cheap camera so you can get a few memories on video or something. It was a, you know, semi-professional camera, uh, but not full-scale professional video camera. So I used this thing then for the next, from 2000, um, 2013 to 2018, this year, early this year. Well, I shouldn't say early, about midway through this year. And um, I guess in 2016 I was starting to have the batteries were starting to have problems. The one died and then another one died. And you can see there's no battery on the back here. Um, and so that's why a lot of my videos were done indoors because I could just plug in, you know, the right here, the little wall outlet, you know, the little thing here, you could just plug in there and then plug it right into the wall. And so a lot of my videos were done indoors for that reason. I did do some stuff outside, but the way I was doing that, and I, I realized I could have bought new batteries for it again, but I'm saying, okay, is it, how long is this camera going to last? You know, you get into that thing of if I go and invest in new batteries and then the camera dies, well, I just wasted my money. So, um, you know, it's, again, I use this thing pretty hard. Uh, you know, put it in the backpack, hiking around, cold, heat, you know, a lot of outdoor type of stuff. It's in direct sunlight. So I really didn't want to invest a whole lot in the camera itself. So I had one of these big Duracell power packs. It's basically a car battery and then it's an, an inverter. You can plug stuff into it and whatever. And I used that outdoors a couple times. Well, kind of hard to lug that into remote locations. So, you know, I've been thinking about, I need to get a new camera for a while. And, you know, I didn't, I thought, you know, can I just find another one of these? And I thought, well, oh, you know, I'm just kind of, not really helping myself much. So um, earlier this year, in 2018, I bought a Sony, I don't remember the model number, but it was basically a digital camera, like a DVR camera. And 
it's it was able to do 4K video. And I thought, hey, this is going to be great. This will kind of take the ministry to the next level. And I tried to use the thing. I tried to understand the functions of it and whatever else, and I just could not get it. <laughs> I mean, you know, give me a chainsaw, put me out in the woods, say, cut down that big tree, you know, whatever. Okay, I can do that. Uh, give me a big block of wood, some huge big wood burl or something, put it on the lathe and say, turn it into a bowl. Okay, I'll do that. You know, whatever. Computers and cameras and all this high-tech stuff, a lot of it's just over my head. I'll be the first to admit that I'm a, a real dumb on some of that stuff. So, sold to Sony, could not figure out this thing. And I've been kind of looking as, you know, here and there and reading reviews of cameras and whatever else. And finally, I found one that they said is pretty easy to use. It's a 4K camera. It makes real nice video, whatever else. It's got a lot of good features to it. I'm going to actually, I'll talk about this little camera here in a minute, but I'm going to use this one to show the camera that I'm recording with, my new camera. Um, here it is. You can see it's a Panasonic. I uh, get the thing here. There's upside, the viewfinder's upside down. Panasonic HCVX981. If it'll focus. But uh, this thing here, you don't you don't use. Um, just show it there a little bit more. This thing you don't use. It's not a hard disk drive. It's got the little SD, you know, slot in it. This one does too down there. You can use that. I never did because it's just, you know, it's got a 60 gigabyte hard drive in it. So, um, all the newer videos with, you know, the new King James Video Ministries intro and then the, the high definition videos of me outdoors, they've all been recorded with this camera and really good camera. Um, but I'm thinking to myself, okay, am I going to be destroying this camera in a couple of years by doing a lot of outdoor stuff and really hardcore, you know, winter things and whatever. And over the years, people have suggested that I get a small GoPro type of camera for doing some of the more hardcore stuff outside. And um, so I thought, well, you know, okay, I'll check into the thing of a GoPro. So I started doing the research on that, and I saw some of the debate back and forth, GoPro versus the new uh, Sony FDR X3000, I think this thing's called. And long story short, I got this little Sony here. That's another little 4K camera. Um, really a neat little thing here. And this one is going to be used for some of the you know, really rugged areas we go to and things. I don't have to worry about this thing breaking as much as I do the big camera. Um, very excited about this. I'll roll in some... Well, before I do that, uh, let me just show you this. This is also another thing that you can get with this. It's a little remote viewing monitor, so I can... It's kind of like a watch. I can put this thing on and have this on my chest or some other place because you can't see what you're recording in that little viewfinder there. That's just, you know, technical stuff that you look at there. Um, what your camera settings are, whether you're doing four, 4K or just, you know, high definition 720 type of stuff or whatever. Um, a lot of the other technical stuff. So it's nice to be able to see what you're recording and I can remotely record with this. So if this is someplace, wherever, I can push record and then see, okay, it's on, it's recording, good, I can see the color looks great, everything's good. The other thing about this, the reason I got it, is because it has optical image stabilization in it. Okay, optical image stabilizer, I think, how you say it. It's not digital image stabilization. And I think the, after researching it, the optical thing is really neat because if you're going through a really rough area, the lens itself moves. It doesn't digitally try to, you know, keep the frame and all that stuff and it looks a little bit jumpy this thing is incredible i'll show you some video here we were down at the ocean yesterday to celebrate oliver's birthday and um the picture quality the collars are just absolutely beautiful uh, so i'm gonna re really looking forward to you know doing some video with this thing uh, something i am going to be doing coming up um a while back i bought a, a dual sport motorcycle which I'm using to do some different jobs that I have and things of transporting vehicles and stuff. I can haul the bike in the back of my truck and, and then move things around, whatever else, and then ride the dirt bike home. Um, dual sports. So 
I'm going to be doing some Bible believing motorcycle vlogs with a helmet helmet camera, something a little bit different, and because uh, we specialize in different things here, so that should be interesting. You'll get to see me riding a motorcycle, um, but I thought it'd be kind of a neat way to do it um, as I'm working doing different you know jobs that I have to do. Um, I can actually be talking and, and things and trying to reach people for Jesus Christ and reach them with the truth <clears throat> that they're just not going to find on most channels. Unfortunately, I wish other people would, you know, bigger, real big channels would step up and whatever and preach truth, but they don't. So there's that camera. Um, and then the other one that I use, uh, which I showed a little bit earlier here, is just this little, I'm covering it up with my finger there. Canon uh, power shot. See it there? And uh, this is an old one, and um, we have two of these actually. Uh, we have another one that we use for our family photos, and, and again, I'm, we're taking a lot of pictures of you know uh, going places and just being together and fun things. And then I'm trying to use that one for ministry stuff as well. And I'm always afraid I'm going to drop it and lose you know things that that I've you know work that I've done with, you know, for our family and things. And so I thought, I'm just going to try to find a used one on eBay for cheap. They don't make these things anymore. Um, so found this one used. Actually, kind of a uh, funny story. The eBay seller that I bought it from was just a, you know, a few letters and a few numbers or something. There was no title or whatever else. And so I looked, they had a good rating, and I thought, okay, fine. You know, U.S. seller, the whole deal. And so I bought it. And... Uh, I get the thing, and here it's from some monastery, Roman Catholic monastery. I guess they were selling things to make some money for the monastery or something. And I'm going, oh, okay, you know. They didn't realize who they were selling it to, and I didn't realize who I was buying it from. But the irony of it is they, Roman Catholics, sold to me, and I'm going to use this camera to expose their system. Got to love the uh, Lord's sense of humor in setting that up. But audio. What do you do about audio? Because I've had this question. Um, what I do about audio, what works really good for me, because I know some people complain about the audio of these little cameras here. Uh, if you're doing motorcycle vlogging or, or if it's in the underwater case, people say it's just terrible. Fine. So what do you do? Well, for years now, I, I've been using this technique of using a separate audio recorder. This is a little Zoom Handy Recorder H2. You can see there, and it has a, where is it, right there, a little external mic port right there, and so I have a little um, uh, lapel mic that plugs into this thing, and then it goes up through, I just put it up through my shirt, and it comes out here, click, click it on, you've probably seen it in other videos, and um, then if I'm in studio, I can put this thing on a tripod and just kind of mount it about right there so you can't see it on the screen. But then I can keep an eye on what's going on there. If I'm outdoors, I have this little belt pack. I can just slip this down into it and put it on my belt back, you know, like that and whatever else. And that way you can't see it when I'm standing there. Um, but it's really nice because then you don't have to worry so much about wind. You don't have to worry about the distance from the camera. Again, if you saw the video from yesterday, uh, down, done down at the ocean about how many people were going to die in the time of Jacob's trouble, um, I was using that voice recorder, and uh, it was really, really windy. But I just I stood there with my back to the wind, so most of the wind is flowing around me, and the the pelt mic is not picking it up, so it works really well. And what you do is you take the audio track from your microphone on your camera. And then you take the audio track from this in your editing software. I use Sony Vegas. And you line up the two audio tracks. So you synchronize the two audio tracks. And then what you do is you either mute or delete your video camera uh, microphone. And it works really well. Then you just, all you get is just the lapel mic being recorded here. And uh, I've tried to use the, the um, show this real quick. I have a older road uh, shotgun mic, which I've used. You need the little shoe thing on the top of your camera and the audio input there, uh, which my new camera does, and, and the old JVC does as well. 
you just kind of put that in there like that. You can tighten it down, and then it's got this little thing right here, this little port right there, and you can see the microphone's on the top to show you how it looks there. And you can plug it in like that, and then you have your audio, and it's on little rubber, you know, little bands, little rubber band things there. So if there's movement down here in the camera, the sound of it loading or whatever else, it doesn't transfer up into here through the frame. So it works, but there's times when you'll get some distortion in it, so it's not exactly perfect. Um, I have used it over the years in outdoor videos. It's okay, but I prefer just having a completely separate um, audio recorder and then just synchronizing the audio tracks. I like doing that. If you're interested in knowing more about that, you can check that out. Um, so, I'm trying to think of what else I need to say here about this whole thing. Um, oh, I know what I was going to say. That camera that you're watching me on right now and this little camera here are both 4K, and which is great, but unfortunately, my computer is not able... I shouldn't say my computer. It's my, my uh, version of Sony Vegas Movie Studio. is not able to handle 4K video. It, it cannot render 4K video. So if I do put 4K files in, if I use this camera or this one, the, the video, it's kind of real jumpy. It will render it, but it renders it down to like a 1080p or whatever. Um, it doesn't do 4K. So now I'm in this situation where I'm saying, okay, to really go to the next level, I'm going to have to get a new computer. Because um, this one here is seven years old, my current computer. And I've had some issues with it. It still blue screens every once in a while and things, and it's, it's, it's got some issues. I try to keep it clean and everything else, and but uh, going to be eventually saving up and getting another computer and a newer edition of Sony Vegas that can handle 4K video. So that's kind of a future project. Um, but the reason I'm really talking about this is because I've, I, asked, I get asked the questions, you know, what, it, what computers or what uh, cameras do you use, what equipment do you use. And uh, one other thing I should mention here real quickly, because I did have a question on this. They asked, a, I had our brother write and say, what do you do for a tripod? Well, this is my very first tripod right here, a very cheap, I don't know if it, Targus, right there. Targus is the brand. It's, I got it at Radio Shack. It was, you know, $20 or something. It's aluminum. It's light as a feather. But it does not have a fluid head. So you try to... Oh, it's a thing there. You try to, uh, you know, turn with it, and you get these weird spots where it's not, you know, it's it's jerky. And so, if you want to do good, kind of, uh, where you're showing a lot of things, um, you need a fluid head in the tripod. Um, I don't do that very often. Usually, I just have it stationary. So this works okay. But the problem is it's so lightweight that if it's if it's someplace where it's kind of windy, it has a tendency to kind of blow around a little bit. It was actually so windy yesterday that my, my better tripod um, was actually blowing around a little bit. So, But uh, that's just a little word on tripods. And I'm sure you know, there's a lot better stuff out there that I'm not even familiar with. But um, So, just want to do this video because I do get asked the question quite a bit. And uh, just to show also that uh, King James Video Ministries is about pr producing the best possible stuff that we can. Um, obviously, I'm not going to go out and hire a professional film crew or anything like that. It's it, There's no point in that. Um, I don't need 4K video for indoors here, obviously. But uh, outdoor stuff, yeah. I want to show the glory of God's creation and get people away from looking at what man makes in the cities and whatever else and get them thinking about what God makes and get them to realize the absurdity of evolution theory that says that everything came about as a random accident billions of years ago. That's nonsense. All right? uh, there's a beautiful creation, thereby there's a beautiful or an all-powerful creator. Say it that way. So um, we're not going anywhere, King James Video Ministries. Uh, we are continuing to upgrade the ministry and we're going to be putting out even better stuff in the future. Um, a lot of it's going to start to be offline. Uh, DVDs and things like that in the future, high quality, much higher quality uh, than I've put out in the past. Um, as the Lord's 
you know, helping us to buy better equipment and um, teaching me more about putting videos out too. Um, but just another thing here, um, I know a lot of people were praying about the issue that we were having with the internet. Uh, just to kind of recap what happened there, um, we had been with, when we first came to Maine, we bought, uh, or we went with uh, Fairpoint Communications, was the company name, and they were pretty good. Um, and uh, it was 15 megabyte per second service back in 2013. 2013 going into 2014, I guess. I guess it was 2014, January, when we moved, actually. So it would have been early 2014. We had 15 megabyte per second and right around one or so megabyte per second upload speed, I think, something like that. And so, um, I, again, I've been thinking of uh, we should really try to upgrade because the Internet is you know, pretty slow, the connection speed here, and it got worse, actually, because Fairpoint sold out to Consolidated Communications. When we went with Consolidated Communications earlier this year, our internet speed went and got really, really bad. It used to be that I could upload a video to YouTube and check email and whatever else at the same time. So for about a year now, well, not, not quite a year, but early 2018, um, it's been, you know, if I'm uploading anything to YouTube, you pretty much can't do anything else on the internet, uh, which I think is pretty ridiculous. And I was paying $50 a month for this. Okay, this 15 megabyte per second, very slow speed. So it's been something I've been thinking, well, you know, I should eventually upgrade this thing. And um, and so here, our modem, I don't have it in here anymore, but our modem died um, a little while ago, a couple weeks ago. And, you know, okay, so I call up Consolidated Communications and I say, you know, we need a new modem and, you know, we'd like to upgrade and, what are, you know, what's the deal here? And they say, oh, yeah, your, your service is really slow. We could upgrade you to 25 megabit per second. And, uh, and it's still going to cost you $50 a month. And I'm thinking, it sounds kind of high to me, but, you know, we're not in the most metropolitan area here in Bridgewater. So, okay, fine. So they come, they said, we're going to come out on... They, we called on a Friday. They said, we'll come out next Friday. And I'm, I'm saying, okay, you know, so that whole time, that whole week, I can't be online. We have no internet because our modem's died, dead. Uh, you know, well, we'll, we'll send out a, a new modem as quick as we can. So we got here in a couple days, hooked that up, and the internet didn't work. So I'm calling customer service, and we're back and forth with them. And finally, I called up some guy that actually knew a little bit, and he, oh, well, you know, I, I don't think we have it connected here or something there. And they did something there at their offices, and now all of a sudden our internet works. And I'm thinking, okay, you know. So that was, I guess, um, I, yeah. It was a, it was a. We were they were supposed to come out a week from the Friday that we had called. So we had a phone call, um, right around the time I, I guess it was right before I called this guy. And they said, oh, we we can't come out. Um, it's going to be Monday now. So I'm getting frustrated. I'm saying I can't upload anything. I got a bunch of sermons I need to upload. I got people I need to answer, um, you know, I don't even, you know, I had work I needed to do. So, oh, it's going to be Monday. So I called, they fixed the problem, all of a sudden I can get back on the internet. Strange how that works. And uh, so Monday rolls around and I'm thinking, great, I'm up here working with our slow internet connection that we had. I see the consolidated communication truck pulling out here. I said, okay, I'm going to go out and see what's going on, you know, just, just talk to the guy and whatever else. So I get up, I walk downstairs, go to put my shoes on and, and things, and I walk outside to talk to the guy, and the truck's gone. I'm thinking, well, he's only been here for a few minutes. So I walk around the side of the house, and the, the network interface device, the NID box is on the side of the house, and I showed it in my video. It's just open, completely open. And I'm thinking, oh, okay, he must have had to go to some one of the poles, telephone poles in the area here in the neighborhood, and unhook something or hook something up or I don't know so I closed the thing up and uh, you know I waited for a couple of hours and nothing didn't come back so we drove down to the visitor center in Holton and um, about a half hour from here and uh, you know I called up consolidated communication said what on earth happened what's going on well he didn't have enough time to finish the job and I thought he was there for a, a, a few minutes at the most, and he had you know it was 1:30 when he showed up. They don't they you know are done at five. 
three and a half hours. You can't finish a job in three and a half hours. So, okay, whatever. So uh, I said, you know, I have no telephone. I have no internet, and now I have no telephone. Oh, I'm very sorry about that, sir, you know. And I said, okay, what am I going to do if I have an emergency? And it was a little frustrating. And uh, so uh, two days, well, they did nothing, and so I made the video that night. That was the video I, I did, you can see that video. And all of a sudden they're coming out, you know, and oh, we're going to fix you up here and everything else. And, and uh, I, was, I was away at work and, uh, you know, building and things and all day. And uh, um, so, uh, I'm trying to remember where I'm going with this whole thing. And so they came, they were here, we weren't here. And so they said, you know, sorry we missed you. There's a thing on the door. Sorry we missed you. They didn't do that the first time. There was not. There was no notification or anything. But they, this time they're they're going to put the little thing on the door saying sorry we missed you, and uh, you know we'll be back. You know give us a call. We'll set up an appointment when we can hook up and you know increase your inter internet speed. So I said nothing doing. I'm going to call. I'm going to get somebody else in here. So we got a company named Spectrum, and they're excellent. The guy came uh, was it two days yeah two days ago. He came, hooked up the internet, and uh, now we actually have, it's right about 75 megabits, megabits per second, if I got that right, and about 10 upload speed. So, a lot faster than what we had before, a whole lot faster. And it's kind of funny because it used to be that it was shorter for me to render a new video than it was to upload it, and I would have to upload all night long. I'd start the video, go to bed, by morning it would be uploaded. To YouTube. Um, just this morning I rendered a video and it took about 50 minutes for the video to render and it uploaded in 20 minutes. So very very nice. Um, Romans 8.28 definitely applies. Um, for we know that all things work together for good to them that love God to them who are called according to his purpose. Um, and your prayers. The friends of this ministry, those that pray for this ministry, um, that helps out more than you know. So um, that's just kind of an update on some of the things that are going on here. Uh, I could just called the Consolidated Communications here a little while ago and said, please cancel my service. I will not be coming back. And so the service is canceled. Um, we have a new phone number and all kinds of stuff here. So uh, big changes. And uh, like I said, a lot faster internet speed, uh, new cameras. Eventually, we're going to be investing in a new computer for the ministry and new software to make better video. So the ministry is moving forward. Um, and uh, we're reaching a lot of people, a lot of new people coming along and things, and people asking how to be saved, and they, they want to know for sure that they're going to go to heaven when they die. Um, just some really, really amazing miracles that the Lord is doing through this ministry. Uh, it still blows my mind how much the Lord has used uh, myself and even my wife some of her stuff that she's put out um, you don't have to agree with us and everything you know but just understand our heart's desire our heart's desire is to see people get saved and see them become King James Bible believing Christians that's what we want um, so uh, oh and uh, another thing I need to talk about real quick here and that is the external hard drive project uh, that I was working on there. I made some announcements about that. Um, we've had numerous videos deleted off the internet because they're too controversial. Uh, we've put, had other things, uh, numbers of videos on the Pharmacopoeia Inquisition which were never released online because they would have been blocked and banned and everything else. And it was just really long, you know, the study was very, very long and just too detailed for, for putting into video. So. Um, that stuff is all going to be coming out on a little external hard drive, a little uh, passport, I think they call them. I showed it in another video. It's not up here right now, but uh, actually I'll show this one. Um, this is a uh, my passport, Western Digital, like that. A little cord plug in there. Um, this thing here. Uh, the the ones I'm going to be doing. This is a one terabyte. The ones I'm going to be doing are one and a half, I think, terabyte. And um, this one here could not fit all the videos I've done in the last 10 years or so. 
and so we had to upgrade to another one, uh, another size, and those will eventually be available on King James Video Ministries. I'm going to get the web store going again. Uh, we're restructuring a lot right now for the ministry, but um, I want to make you know, there's there's a, a fair amount of space there available for more video. So. Uh, praying about it and we talked about it and what I want to do is I'm going to have 2018 be the last year for the external hard drive project and so I'm not going to just make it available and then well there's more videos coming out and whatever 2018 when it ends will be the year okay the final video of 2018 will be the final video that goes on the external hard drive and then they will be available Lord willing on uh, kingjamesvideoministries.com and it'll have all of the videos we've ever made, um, stuff that's been banned, that's been taken off the internet, and it'll be available. Um, and uh, so it should be pretty good. Some of the, the people that I've exposed uh, over the years, um, the, the one of the big ones is this guy named John Kalal, the Max Bauer channel. And every time I put the videos out against the guy, he's uh, just so thin-skinned he can't handle any kind of stuff coming, coming out about it. And I showed his email and his private, uh, you know, um, what's the private, private identification, not identification, uh, uh, his, his real name, not his, not his YouTube personality. And that's why Patreon, my Patreon account got deleted because of this sissy. He's a criminal, has, actually has a criminal background in internet scamming. And, but I'm not allowed to show that, you know, the guy's a total fraud. But that's, the videos are going to be available on the external hard drive, and uh, they will be available coming out at, on the web store. And I'm sure all the little cronies now are talk, talking about it, and it's going to be new videos made against me and whatever, because these people have their lives. They're so pathetic. But uh, that will be out the uh, first of the year. Um, so, uh, if all goes well. And um, I think that's going to be it. But just wanted to show... Kind of an updated, you know, a video updating people on the new cameras and, and whatever else, the new direction for the ministry. Uh, really um, putting in some time to go and travel places and things. Going out of the ocean is about, uh, we put in right around 340 miles uh, driving to make that whole thing happen. Um, we're, uh, again, you know, instead of, of putting in a lot of video and graphic, or, you know, really interesting graphics and animation and you know, whatever else. Uh, we'd rather actually travel to exotic locations and showcase what the Lord created um, as backdrop for the videos. So, I um, guess that's going to be it. See, I can I can talk longer now for these videos because, you know, then they up, you know, uh, render them quickly and then they upload really fast. I don't have to wait all night. So, uh, I'm getting spoiled here. But, uh, just want to thank everybody out there for their support of this ministry. Um, your prayers, your donations to this ministry are making a big difference. Uh, I cannot tell you how many times we get letters in the mail, we get emails, we get you know people that have our email address. We you know there's a lot of uh, different contact out there. People um, just saying how much their lives have been changed by this ministry. Uh, it's very flattering to hear that, and uh, it's it's very challenging to me to do my very best. Um, and that's why I'm investing a lot in this ministry. Um, so uh, that is going to be it. I uh, just want to thank everybody out there. And we will see you in upcoming videos. Thank you very much for watching.